Okay. Um, yeah, we're here at Gamescom. Um, with me is NPT. Yes. Um, uh, I, I am with you. I'm ZZ. And today we are having here a PlayStation Vita with a debug timer. Um, yeah, package installer obviously being a very interesting option to have on your 1691 Vita. Yeah. Um, yeah. It still wants to connect with the content manager assistant, which is uh, pretty well, say, interesting. So you can't, you don't really have a way to get around it. Um, but at least you can install packages through CMA. It's unfortunate that that you can't use Open CMA, but I suppose on a debug you're probably not going to do that. It's pretty sim similar with a uh, PlayStation 3 package installer. Um, well, then the store preview um, icons, it's like on the PSP or PS3, there we have these options too. Well, then into the settings. No. Um, yeah, first thing is it shows the full firmware, not just 1.69. So. Yeah, actually showing 1.691, that was yeah. The debug settings you know, menu, sense, however, is probably the most interesting thing on the whole thing, yeah. by far. Um, being able to actually supply the server update URL is, is kind of interesting, helpful. Yeah, pretty interesting. The fact interesting that you can fake the 3G is pretty <laughs> yeah. really cool, I like that. Pretty useful for Wi-Fi only. Yeah, Vita. very useful. Being able to change from from SP hints, um, um, or excuse me, being able to change to SP hint, uh, the internal one of the internal networks is helpful. Not that interesting? Not that interesting. Probably the most interesting thing on the whole thing is the activation menu because of the 90 day deal. So, you can show, you know, you've got less than 13 days left to reactivate it with the 90 days and all. Um, and I would go back and show people the two ways that you can actually activate it. That's interesting. So, activating by storage, um, from what I've been told anyway would be uh, an activation file you'd get off of DevNet and put onto a memory stick and put in there. Um, activate it by connecting to the PC would be done over the Diva, or the USB uh, cable by again connecting to DevNet. And then uh, you should show, um, I guess, the activation key because that may be interesting later. Uh, get a good shot of that actually. <laughs> um, you have 13 days left. Yeah. And uh, so then, what with the 77 days um, left that you have, unless you had some way to get the new, uh, the new key in 77 days, or had uh, DevNet access, you would pretty much have a, not a brick in your hand, but certainly yeah, something that's not going to do much. Okay. So, uh, the core dump uh, is a nice feature. Being able to analyze the full core dump uh, would, would be a nice thing. Uh, beyond that, what else do we have left in the below activation? Uh, some system stuff like chang um, changing the button behavior, like for Japanese or non-Japanese yeah. units, yep. should be in the uh, usual setting for the retail consoles, because it's pretty useful option for imported consoles. Yeah. Being able to change the region settings that easily is pretty nice. And beyond that, uh -huh. Can we still want to be the firmware versions <laughs> yeah. of the of the touchpad and such, and the motion sensor is well, pretty it, cool. It, it's gonna get stolen overnight. Should we take these? And then, the uh, them I guess, yeah. basically at that point, uh, being able to fake all of all of that. Beyond us. that, the differences between a debug and a standard are, are not too heavy. And. Yeah, you can download content. Um, content. Um, you can download content via a URL, which is pretty interesting. So no need for the um, CMA. Right. Well, and the last really great thing is that you can disable the power saving 
Uh, change it to 60 minutes. Wir müssen euch leider äh, gleich okay. zu gehen, weil wir nicht mehr so lange machen können. This was it.